What's up guys, GameRanger95 here, and uh, welcome to episode 5 of uh, Everton Career Mode. Uh, and what we do straight away is we're going to look for a new centre defensive mid, and uh, we find that in the form of Fernando, the Gremio centre defensive mid, 20 years old, 75 rated, uh, looks really good. The only issue I had with him was that he doesn't have that many great passing stats. But um, yeah, in any case, at that age and f to have that rating, that's quite good. So I decided to put in an offer for him, as you saw there. Um, I also needed an attacking mid, and this is when I found Bernard. And um, Bernard is a brilliant, brilliant player for his age. And I went straight in and put in a swap deal with Fellaini, just a direct swap. Because, I mean, if I can get someone that good in a trade with Fellaini, I'd be really happy with that. Um, and then we look back in our centre backs. We tried to get Matija Nastasic on loan, but we don't really want to get a loan player and then lose him next year. So we go for Bruno Martins Indy, um, who is a Feyenoord uh, centre back, 20 years old, 74 rated, and uh, he just looks overall quite good. He'll be a substitute though, probably for me. And I put a swap in, a direct swap again with Heitinger for him. Uh, same thing we're looking for another pacey centre back but we can't really find anyone with acceleration over 75 um, so we look a bit deeper and we can't find Mar we can't get Marquinhos or Diego Reyes because they are um, both on loan which is quite annoying because they both look like excellent players to be honest and um, yeah so we're now looking for a right midfielder and um, well under that age and under that for that value we can't really find someone so we raise the maximum estimated worth and uh, we just keep looking we find here Caprari and we could put in a bid for him but uh, I don't think we end up doing it no we don't we don't end up putting a bid for him because we can find someone probably a bit better um, with maybe slightly higher price and that's what we do we find Wilfred Zaha Wilfried Zaha here sorry um, the Crystal Palace right winger in reality he's quartered by Manchester United uh, like the best teams in England um, but in this game we're gonna try to get him as Everton we shortlist him and uh, we look for some uh, we look again a bit more expensive but he still looks like the best option so we decide to put in a bid for him even though he's got the same rating as uh, I think Caprari or the guy that we were looking at just before he I know for a fact that he's a, he can be a lot better uh, so we put in a tr uh, trade with uh, Gue I'm, I'm guessing that's his name uh, something like that but yeah so that's our swap deal there and finally we look for a striker and um, if you uh, play career mode a lot you know that there are two real strikers that you want to go for and those are uh, well, if you're if you're looking for a cheap goodbye, you go for either Luis Muriel or Rodrigo. And um, right now, even though I'm looking at Paulo Dybala, I don't realize that he actually just joined the team uh, because it doesn't say so from my uh, executive guy. So we raise the price a bit again, and uh, we still can't find anyone that good. So we raise the age limit, and I think this is where we find. No, we find uh, Barini, but he's just joined Liverpool. Um, in any case, yeah, so we've, we we realise that Dybala probably won't join, because uh, he's just joined his new club. And Sunderland there, refusing to uh, pay 5.2 million or something like that for Heitinger. Um, we do get an offer from Borussia Dortmund for Leighton Baines of 5 million, but I raise to uh, 6 million counter offer. Um, which I hope that they'll accept because I, he's not going to be in my plans. He's a left back, you know. He's got, you know, he's 27 years old, and um, yeah, I, I don't really see him featuring anywhere. Um, Fernando, uh, they rejected the bid. They want two million plus Gibson, and um, I decide to go for one million plus Gibson in the hope that they'll accept it. Um, Although good news is that Atletico Minier have accepted my bid for Bernard, so we get Bernard on a £30,000 a week deal for five years uh, in the hope that we can sign him. And um, yeah, Feyenoord also accept our transfer offer for uh, Bruno Martins Indy, uh, and that's 10000 a week that he wants, which is great. For five years, we put it in, and... Um, that's great news that these guys are accepting, but Crystal Palace uh, don't—they uh, want a bit more. 
they want 2.5 million plus Gui, so I'm I'm not sure what to do at this point. I decide to raise it to 500,000 uh, in the hope that they might just change their mind for some reason, but doesn't seem likely. And here's where we realize that Dybala has just joined his new club. Uh, once again, they refuse to pay the 6 million, so I again raise it to 6 million because I found in a sort of glitch, I guess, in the game. Um, well, not really, but basically if you just keep pushing them they might actually end up accepting the same bid that you put in uh... The, the same bid that you want them to even though they rejected it last time um, if you saw that i got a quick snap of the uh... uh... squad report and um... you might have just seen that jack butland has already grown one to uh... seventy two in his time at my squad uh, but once again here we're looking uh, for 7.5 million maximum estimated worth and we find two players Luis Muriel and Rodrigo but Luis Muriel had already joined Stoke City um, which will make them a crazy good team I have to say um, but we, p we decide to try and trade Rodrigo uh, with Baines even though you know uh, Borussia Dortmund have put in an offer for Baines. Um, Gremio though here accept the bid, Bernard accept the uh, accepts the bid, and Bruno Martins Indy accepts the uh, offer. So we've got at least two signings now. Uh, and Fernando we put in uh, ten thousand pounds a week and uh, five year contract. Um, but here just accepting our two new players, Bernard and Bruno Martins Indy. Uh, I, th I think that's yeah Bruno Martins Indy guys let me know uh, how to say his name just so I don't keep making the same mistake uh, they want 1.5 million for Zaha and it, it shows that it actually does work um, if you if you raise it slightly they might lower their um, their valuation of him so I went up to 1 million in the hope that they accept it and their Borussia Dortmund have accepted uh, my bid for Baines have accepted my counter offer for Baines um, I realize here that Baines has actually just accepted Borussia Dortmund so I can't offer him and then I go down and I realize Nikita Jelovic is available to swap and he's worth the exact same amount as Leighton Baines so we um, we put him in for the swap deal and we got a new signing who so we're gonna put in eventually into the squad um, but as you can see there just sold a player and I believe that was Leighton Baines um, here though Fernando is uh, joining the club a uh, great deal and also Wilfred Zaha uh, they accepted my bid for him which was uh, I guess it came as a surprise to me at the time but now you realize yeah, now that I realized it um, it, it sort of makes uh, it just makes it a lot easier if you just keep bidding lower than they want because eventually they'll just bring their valuation down to match yours um, Unfortunately, Rodrigo, uh, Benfica reject the Jelovic trade for Rodrigo. So I put in an Ichibi, and now that I've got some money to spend, I decide to put in, um, well, I think uh, 4, 000, 4 million plus an Ichibi, which is a lot lower than his valuation, granted, but they might they might just end up accepting, you never really know. Um, here though we we're coming up to the QPR match and uh, Wilfred Zaha accepts the contract and he joins the club uh, just before the just in time for the QPR match so he's gonna go straight into the squad and replace uh, Seamus Coleman unfortunately again Benfica just keep rejecting my Rodrigo bids which is fair enough because I offered quite a small amount for him um, but I'm not sure what to do at this point because you know I look at the valuation, I look at make, to make sure that I've got enough players in each position, but I also really want to get this guy, because he looks really good and he can just slot straight in with uh, my other, mid, uh, my, uh, well, Rodrigo can slot straight in with uh, my other striker who was Ahmed Musa. Um, yeah, so now I decide to go for Adrian, because um, 500,000 and I think Seamus Coleman, or... No, Ross Barkley. Yeah, um, 500,000 Ross Barkley seems like a fair bid for him, considering they're roughly at the same level with a year difference between them. But um, they do reject that because they have no interest in uh, in Ross Barkley, which is a bit, a bit weird because I'm doing effectively a direct positional swap. Um, but I keep going with uh, one, th one million pounds plus uh, one of my other players, who I believe is um, Anichibi. I think. 
um, yeah, Victor and Ichibi and one million, which I reckon they should accept uh, at this point because you know it's a good deal. You're getting someone who's still quite young, and you're getting a uh, you're getting a new striker. Sorry there about the voice break. That was a bit weird, but um, as you can see, I'm getting my team ready, and uh, I'm just putting Kurt Zuma and Umiti out in those wide centre back positions because they're faster than uh, Corker, even though he's actually quite fast himself. Um, and I, I feel like really confident about how good this team is. I mean, it's still really young, so obviously it's going to take its time to grow. But there you can see we're going to put in Ahmed Musa straight away into the first team with Kevin Morales and um, Wilfred Zaha as well will come in uh, to replace. Um, I think on the bench he's replacing Hamar, and uh, on the team he's replacing Seamus Coleman. Um, so we've actually got a really really good young team with. Our oldest player, I, I'm, I think, is um, Kevin Morales, who's uh, 24 years old, and everyone else is uh, under 21. So um, we don't have much experience in our squad, but we have a lot of energy, a lot of players who really want to work hard for the team. But we again go back into the market looking for a cheap, cheap player, um, a cheap set, uh, striker, simply because we can't really get a Rodrigo, we can't afford him now because uh, they priced us out of a move for him so I go in again for Leandro um, I don't know how many times I have to go in for this guy before I realize I'm not gonna get him um, so we go for 1.5 uh, million plus an each of me and um, I do hope they accept that but um, yeah that's the end of the episode guys uh... we've got the qpr match next game um, so keep an eye out for that one uh... i'll upload again tomorrow and yeah uh... don't forget to like and subscribe please please like and subscribe um... so you can keep watching and uh... yeah i guess i'll see you guys le next time bye bye